Hi boys and girls and welcome back to our second activity of measuring day to day. Now, for this activity, boys and girls, we are going to need lots and lots of different types of bottles because this activity is all about finding out how much water it takes to fill up different sizes of bottles. Okay, so that is what we are going to be measuring for this activity. It is going to be measuring water. Alrighty, so we better go down to the kitchen and get on a wee hunt and find lots of different types of bottles and then we need a little cup and some water as well. So let's get started. Okay boys and girls, so I now have my four water bottles and you can see they are all very different sizes. So I have a little plastic one, don't worry it's empty. <laughs> I have quite a large water bottle here. I have another water bottle, but it's quite short, isn't it? It's a short one. And I have another one. And it is really long and skinny. So I have four very different sizes of water bottles. And now it is up to us to guess how many small cups of water can fill each of these bottles. And then we're going to find out and see if we are right or not. So I think we'll start with the long skinny one. Okay, boys and girls, so we have bottle number one here. Okay, now first things first, we have to guess how many cups this size would fill this bottle. Okay, so you make your guess. I'm going to guess that it will take two full cups to fill this water bottle, okay? So now it's time to measure up and see if we're right. Okay, so let's go for it. Well, boys and girls, that is our answer. It took one and three quarter cups to fill bottle number one. You can still see we've got a wee quarter of water left in that cup. And that is bottle number one. Well done if you guessed that right. Okay, boys and girls, so now that we have done bottle number one, it is time for bottle number two. Okay, boys and girls, so here is our second cup here up close. And let's make a guess, shall we? How many cups do we think will fill this up? I think it'll take one and a half. What do you think? Well, let's find out, shall we? So here we go with cup number one. Well, boys and girls, there you have it. My guess was spot on. It took one and a half cups to fill the shorter glass. I hope some of you got that right too. Well done if you did. Well, boys and girls, we are doing so well so far. So it is time for bottle number three. Let's see how many this one takes. Okay, so here is our third cup up close, boys and girls. And it's time to make a guess how many cups do we think will fill this bottle? I think it might take two and a half. What do you think? Well, let's find out. Here we go with cup number one. Well, boys and girls, would you look at that? Bottle number three took the same amount of cups of water as bottle number two, even though they were shaped differently. So that took one and a half cups of water, just the same as bottle number two. Well, boys and girls, we are down to the very last bottle. And I think this one's going to be really different from the other three. Let's see, shall we? Okay, boys and girls, so here is our last bottle. So it's an empty plastic bottle and we need to guess how many cups of water will fill this up. So I think it will actually take just over one. So shall we say one and a quarter? What do you think this one will take? Let's find out, shall we? Well, boys and girls, there you have it. Our guess was spot on for the last bottle. 
it took one and a quarter cups of water to fill up bottle number four. Well done. Well, boys and girls, that is our second activity all finished and I hope that you enjoyed measuring our water bottles just as much as I did. Isn't it so interesting to find out that different sizes and different shapes of bottles can hold the same amount of water as each other? I think that was so interesting. Well, I will be seeing you later on today for activity number three. See you later.